presentation is the arrangement of ovule inside the ovary. Placentation play important role for growing embryo. It provides nutrients, water, minerals to growing embryo. It also influences the kinship of plants. There are several different types of placentation among the flowering plants. However, the following types are important. Number one, exile placentation. Number two, basal placentation. Number three, parietal placentation. Number four, marginal placentation. Number fifth, superficial central placentation. And number six, free central presentation here you see tomato is the type of exile presentation here you see the white color these are the axial and called as placenta where the ovules are attached in the axis or axial and it's a multi locular ovary you will see the locules this is locule this is locule this locule so this is a multi locular ovary and this is a placenta this is the ovule and the small stalk of ovule there you see is a very minute stalk this is called as funicle so this is a perfect example of exile presentation similar example is also found in lady's finger here you see these are the basically the seeds mature seeds are ovules and this is a multi locular ovary and the ovules are attached to the axial so it is another example of exile presentation similarly lemon is also one of the uh, perfect example of exile presentation where the ovules are attached in the axial so here you see this is the placenta these are the ovules and these are the multi locular ovary here i draw the exile presentation these are the chambers of ovary which are called as locule these are the ovules this is the stalk of ovule where the ovule is attached to placenta this is called as funicle and this is called as placenta where the ovules are attached so the ovules are attached to the placenta in the axil it is called as axile presentation Another type of placentation is marginal. For example, pea and family Fabaceae and Leguminaceae, where the placenta form the ridge along the ventral suture and the ovules are produced in rows. So here you see it is the perfect example of marginal placentation in pea plant and family Fabaceae or Leguminaceae. Here I draw the marginal placentation in pea plant. So this is the ovary wall where the ovules are produced at the ridge or ventral suture ventral ridge where the ovules are produced in margin so this is a funicle that is the stalk of ovule this is ovule another type of presentation is the parietal presentation where the ovules are attached to the periphery of the ovary wall here you see the ovules are attached to the periphery of the ovary wall and there is a formation of false septa so this is the example of parietal presentation for example cucumber that is cucumis tiva parietal presentation is also perfect example among the members of family brassicaceae now i draw the parietal presentation in cucumber here you see these are the ovules and placenta attached to the periphery the wall of ovary and there is no septa or axil it's a false septa so this is the example of parietal presentation this is placenta these are the ovules and this is a peripheral arrangement so this is called as parietal presentation Here I draw the type of basal presentation. So this is the ovary and a single ovule attached at the base of ovary. Here you see it is a single ovule that is attached at the base of ovary. This is called as basal presentation. Basal presentation is the example of marigold flower and also number of the other species of family Asteraceae. Now I draw the type of free central presentation. Here you see ovary, and it is a central axis where the ovules are attached 
in the center but without septa without locule so this is the just a diagram of central free central presentation free central presentation means that there is a no septa and the ovules are attached in the center of the ovary which is commonly found among the members of caryophyllaceae that is dianthus and primose flower that is primulaceae family now i draw the superficial central presentation which is the example of family nymphaceae and nymphia it is basically present in multi locular ovary where the ovules are arise from the surface of septa and you see the ovules are arise from the surface of septa so this is a multi locular ovary where the ovules arise from the septa which is the example of nymphaceae family <music>